you know things ain't always sweet when you out here in these streets. But my morpher when it morph, I made a fake. What is going on with the future of Power Rangers, guys? Now, I am the type of guy that always watches what people do and I do not necessarily listen to what people say. I watch the moves that these brands and these companies make, okay? And Power Rangers is moving in a complete different direction. If you have been a fan of this brand for years, get ready for a brand new ride, guys. There is a bunch of things that are going out the window and things that might stay but everything we know it as Power Rangers might change, all right? Before we get fully into this video, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. You can also send us a super thanks right here on YouTube. Goes a long way, helps us on this daily video grind. Let's get into this video. So season two of Power Rangers Dino Fury will be coming out in the next two to three months go ahead and book it we believe it should be coming out in march or april some people are speculating february because um the new york toy fair is coming up uh february 19th through the 22nd something like that correct me if i'm wrong but power rangers and hasbro bandai a lot of different like brands sentai brands through the past have showed up at this toy fair and they have announced several different things. We have gotten Sentai adaptions before. We have gotten the new Power Rangers season news before. We got a Beast Morpher season two kind of trailer before at these. Then toys and galore. And when you bring toys, you have to give us something because that's going to spoil everything else if they're safe. If you haven't saw the, the trailer or anything like that. So... We have to get a trailer, something to go with the toys. Um, that's something we're looking forward to. So Power Rangers Dino Fury, we're going to get some releases. But the real question is, is what happens after Dino Fury? And there is some real talk that they are moving on from shooting in New Zealand and kind of doing that whole Power Rangers format that they have been doing since, what, the early 2000s when they moved to New Zealand, what, 2002, 2003, something like that? Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Um, yeah, they've been doing that forever, and we, we have a reason to believe that everything is either coming back to america or either on this side of the country or the, th this side of the globe um it might not be in america it could be canada um but in all honesty i think it would be smart you know they're gonna branch out there they're gonna do scouting in la etc i guarantee it they're gonna get some good talent to kind of do this but i would like it to be in california um just to give it that that happy sunny power ranger vibe it can be kind of dark and kind of real but at the same time don't fully lose um don't lose that sense of what the show is because this show is fun it's it's high energy it's rock music it's action and power rangers might go in a different direction and we feel all of us have felt that simon bennett and the crew have done just an amazing job you know we've we've mentioned simon so many different times on on this show we we know you watch bro and we appreciate you everything you've done there's speculation out there on the interwebs that that maybe you know um he's not going to be a part of the this new power rangers universe which i hope isn't true it, it it would really suck because i really like simon bennett he really listens to the fans he's out here in the internet streets talking to people and i absolutely love it um i get maybe why you know he's in new zealand if they're shooting in la or new york or canada i could see why they're kind of moving on there there are some reasons to to move it um to kind of you know retract the brand and reboot it bring it to a new place yes dino fury was so dope man and we haven't even got season two yet 
but I could see because of the numbers and what they want to do with this next kind of pitch. Um, we have an idea of what they want to do. And if they're going to do this, they're probably going to move it to America and try to make it hit again. Um, we reported before that Campbell Cooley was back in the States. Now, we we don't know for sure if he's staying. He said he was visiting family, but maybe maybe he's working here. So there's there are some questions that with you know the New Zealand cast, are they coming back? Is it are they working on different projects? I just don't know. I love Simon Bennett though. I hope he stays on. This isn't anything like I hope he gets fired or nothing because I hope like they keep him on for something he was fun he always talked to the fans the fact that he commented on my videos before and many other power ranger youtubers out there it it just shows me that he listens and even if it just wasn't mine i just feel like i'm not the biggest power ranger guys like in this universe there's a lot of big dogs higher than me on the totem pole which i'm cool with i'm working my way up but for him to kind of comment on the fan club it shows that he really listens to the fans. We love all of like all the seasons had some good in it because of Simon Bennett, even the ones that aren't our favorites or maybe, you know, aren't the fan favorite or, oh, I hated these characters. So that just means th the whole season is bad, huh? You know, they were working with what they had. And since Hasbro has gotten the reins, Simon Bennett has done a way better job of of directing and putting the show together and you, and you can see it from saban to hasbro so great job but what does this mean going forward we've been told that jonathan entwistle is the man on the hasbro project he's bringing in a bunch of big hollywood writers and, and producers to help him on this project so with that being said I don't know how the New Zealand team way, 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 oops, sorry guys, way over here is going to come all the way over here and work, you know, they, they were running these shows before, now they're going to be bottom of the totem pole under all these other guys for Netflix. Now, for some people, maybe it would be really fun for the fans, or maybe it's a good opportunity to come work over here for a minute, kind of like... Yeah, how the 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 Americans were were drop like not driving. You couldn't drive all the way over there. <laughs> we're flying all the way over there, and and the the New Zealand crew was taking them in and helping them out, all that stuff, and they worked together for you know a nice amount of time, eight nine months. Maybe we could do that for them, but that's if they want to move and and like for a guy like Simon Bennett, he's established. I I I bet like. I don't like to talk about another man's mind or nothing, but I bet he's very well off. He, he might not have to, like, he might not need to come all the way to America to work on this. He might just start shooting whatever the next project is around because they need a good producer, a good director, a good showrunner that's just literally right here. And here's my opportunity because Power Rangers is gone. Who wants me? You know, um, huh, it gets you thinking about the whole situation. So if they're gone... Jonathan Entwistle is the guy and he's hiring a bunch of bigger name people that have been on bigger projects. Um, so man, I, I'm excited because this is a, a new direction. Part of me is a little scared because I love Power Rangers. I love what it is. I know we can do better though, but also sometimes the grass ain't always greener, but with Hasbro, I like that they're trying and they're listening to the fans and they're getting on Netflix and they're not trying to ride the network trend anymore. They're trying to get on Netflix and see what happens. I love it. You guys let me know what you guys think. Do you think we'll get another season of Sentai? So many fans have been kind of asking Simon and, and for a while he was shutting down a lot of seasons to where the only season where anyone really thought that would work was Zooger, which was kind of like the animal season, like an uh, like an updated um, 
wild force or something like that. Um, man, I just don't, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. Like we broke it down before for the 30th anniversary. Like if they get on it right now, they could have a little series going at least right away. Do you think they're going to release a series on Netflix all in one where you get it like 20 episodes all right away? Do you think you're gonna be able to get this thing like once a week for, you know, stretches? Or do you do you think they'll give us like every month, they'll give you three, four episodes or something? Let me know what you guys think. I love these kind of videos. Thank you so much for watching the fan club and we'll see you next time. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscription button, and also hit that notification bell to stay in the algorithm. Do you guys support the fan club? You wanna help us make our next episode and keep this show running? Well, check out our brand new fan club t-shirts. These are on our Square site. Go check that out. Go check us out on all social media platforms. And thank you for rocking with us, guys.